hi guys welcome to the course so in here we're gonna do one hands-on on this redux and also see how can we handle asynchronous process so basically asynchronous means whenever you fetch some data from a server so basically it's a asynchronous and as we know that redux is synchronous so we have a way or we have a way of a middleware so we can use a middleware for asynchronous purpose so first of all we're gonna see in our this project this insta app that we have built previously in our react router series so i have just fork it and uh, i have given the link into the description so you can just clone it into your brow into your uh, command prompt and just use it and just stay start coding now so what we need first of all what are the things that we're gonna change in here in this project first of all we're gonna change this login functionality using redux and also we're gonna fetch data of feeds and suggestions that we can see in here if we just log in in here you can see these are the suggestions and face are here so we're gonna fetch these all things using redux so i'm going to log out from here and we're gonna start using it now what are we needing in here so libraries that we need in here are redux first of all so we do it we can write redux code in here and also what we need we need react redux so that we have a breeze between react and redux code now we have imported two libraries now and we're gonna start building in here so in here first of all we're gonna create a new directory called redux inside redux we're gonna create a two new folder called action in here we're gonna write actions and if and we're gonna also create a new directory called reducer in here we're gonna write reducer logic in here we're gonna create a store.js file from where we're gonna create or we have the all states that what we need in here we're gonna create in here so let's start what we gonna import in our store we are not haven't created any actions we haven't created reducer but for in here we're gonna just write in what we need in here we need create a store for creating the store we need apply middleware for applying some middleware that we want and we also one need one new uh, you can say a combined reducer so as the name suggests that we can combine many reducers into one so what it will do it will combine all the reducers that we are going to build and combine into one we will see what we write in code so we haven't created anything so let's start by creating in here so we're going to change this login functionality right and what we have said in login that whenever you click on login we're just gonna give a boolean value into it so just create a new action so in here i'm going to create a new file called login dot action dot js and in our action dot js we're gonna create export const login we have a payload and we're gonna use the type that we're gonna give and i'm gonna give the login as the name suggests and the payload so i'm going to just refract in the code right we don't have to write like this payload again and again so this is one way this is the better way you can say so now in our reducer i'm going to create a new file called login.reducer.js and in how here we're going to create a new const in it in here i'm going to give is login 
to be first of all false now let's start building one reducer in here and the name that i'm gonna give is com login reducer and we are giving an state and the default state will be in it and also passing the action that we are sending in here and it will be given in a switch case and in the switch case we have given x switch types so that it will check for the type that you have give and our first action is login basically it will be only login in here of course so in here return what we're gonna return we're gonna first spread the values inside the state and just keep the value of is login to be action dot payload that we're gonna send from the action part now it will be having a default uh yeah default one is the return state now this is what we have built our login register has been built our login action has been built now go to your store and we're gonna right how can we create a reducer or how we can uh, we're gonna use this combined reducer so basically how we can use we're gonna create a new root reducer you can say so it will have all the reducers information you can say so combined reducer it will take an object and inside this object i'm going to give the name is is login or just give login login and the reducer name that we have used so in here we can see that i have imported this login dot re login reducer and assigned to this login so we are passing one object in here so what we're gonna use whenever you create a new reducer you're gonna create one new uh, key value pairs of that uh, login reducer and a key now what we need next is export const store and we're gonna create a store and we're gonna just pass this root reducer in here and basically this is what we need we haven't used this apply middleware for applying middleware we need uh because we are applying some middleware right so there are many, many middlewares that we can know there is one redux logger there is another actually there are two another that we are we we are going to use for asynchronous purpose so right now i'm going to just use this redux logger in here and you can use apply middleware and you can just pass the logger in here but i'm just going to give this middleware assign this middleware and passing to as a okay we haven't used it yet as a array so import logger from redux logger now just type in here logger and in here what we're gonna do we're gonna just spread the um, middleware in here so spreading the value inside this apply middleware you can uh, simply write in here logger 2 but if we we're gonna use more logger we're gonna if we're gonna use more middleware in here so we can just use this middleware in here uh, we can assign into an array so this is complete. I'm going to just save these files in here and go to my code. In our my code, you can see in our index.js what we need, we need provider, right? So if I just write provider, we get provider. Yeah, we got provider and we got provider from React Redux. So we're gonna just wrap this up with the provider and we're gonna send the store values inside this store. So 
so we have passed it we haven't imported it so i'm going to import it right now hmm. let's import it okay, we're gonna see uh, simply write in here so where do we got in this is stored we got stored from uh, redux slash store.js right we have imported right yeah so this is what we need and just save it and now in our code we're gonna see into action so go to your pages.js uh, there is one problem in here you can go to your logging out reducer is there any problem right there is a problem oh this is not the right syntax this is the right syntax yeah now this is good now go to your login.js so we have built our this login.js we have built all the things so in the next video we're gonna see in action how can we use this state management in here in this our login page so let's thank you